let's go through problem 5 to a more on the dividend and discount model this time with a little algebra at the start uh, because we're not solving for p0 we're calculating the required return we're calculating r we're solving for that one so uh, let's look at the problem and see what we're up against stratford partners will pay a dividend of four dollars per share next year the dividends are expected to increase by five percent per year going forward so first of all, uh, they will pay a dividend of $4 per share next year. This is D1. The dividends are expected to increase by 5% per year going forward. That is G. Uh, and the stock price today is $50. That's P at naught or P at time zero. Okay. Calculate the equity of cost of capital. That's solve for R. So we can sort of rearrange this and I'll do, I'll show you the algebra here. So I'm going to multiply both sides by R minus G. So I get P naught times R minus G equals D one. I'm going to divide both sides by P zero. I'm trying to isolate the R. I'm going to divide both sides by P zero. So I get R minus G equals D one over P zero. And again, I'm isolating the R. So I just add G to both sides. So I get R equals d1 over p0 plus g welcome to finance there's a fair amount of algebra you probably didn't need to go through that to solve this but it, it's useful in explaining what's going on so uh, being able to do that kind of algebra by the way is, is very good in a finance class it will come in handy it will serve you well okay uh so r equals d1 over p0 plus g we've got d1 we got p0 and we got g we can solve so let's solve for r uh, d1 is 4 divided by p0 which is 50 <laughs> i said 50 i wrote 40 i don't know what happened there uh plus g there's nothing worse in my video making career than when i say the right thing and i write the wrong thing and i get the answer wrong i have to redo the video uh okay four divided by 50, it's going to be 8%, 0 0.08. So I get 8% plus 5% equals 13%. Our equity cost of capital is 13%. Now that gets deconstructed. And the reason I, I did the formula this way, or I rearranged the formula in the way I did, is because it says calculate the dividend yield. We've calculated it. It's the dividend, D1 over P0, uh, that's the dividend yield for you know, I'm getting a $4 dividend. If I invest $50 today, I get a $4 dividend. My dividend yield is 8%. So our dividend yield is 8%. What's the other 5%? And the other 5% is our capital gains. yield. It's, a, it's how much we're uh, expecting or requiring of capital gains growth in in the stock value so uh it sort of deconstructs into two pieces here but the answer to the second part what's our dividend yield our dividend yield is eight percent and again the other component here is uh capital gain you know how how we expect the um stock price to grow so that's that five percent okay there we have it we've solved what is this five two a thanks so much for watching bye bye see you in the next video can't find the stop button. Okay, I found it. Goodbye.